Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Josh Begish, commissioner of the JFL and reigning defending champion. Just wanted to welcome everybody back for another year of the JFL version 2K18. This is the first year, I believe, ever that we've had all 10 teams remaining from the previous year, so I want to say thank you to everyone for sticking to it. It's very cute that you all are attempting to come for this, but hey, we'll see how things go. Uh, I like to mix it up, usually, for the draft picks, uh, and this year I decided I was going to do an idea I had for last year that didn't quite work out, and now we're going to do it. Also, I came up with a possible stipulation for the season where from now on whoever wins the league gets to pick what way we pick the draft picks the next year. So this is one of a few issues that we can uh, discuss and vote on at the actual draft itself. Real quick I'm just gonna get real down to it real basic. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. As you guys might be able to see I have everybody's names written on this piece of paper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them I'm going to rip them on up, I'm going to put it in this wrestling mask. I'm going to draw the names out, one, 10 through 1, see how things go. Paula, Old Jason, aka Yasin, Ian, Alex, followed by Blake, followed by Christian, followed by the newer of the two Jasons. Jason Edens, me, the champion of the league, followed by Joe, and finally, Bledsoe. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mix them up in this mask, and I'm gonna pull them out. And we'll go, first pick that I pull out, number 10, nine, eight, all the way down to one. Pretty easy peasy stuff. All right, and here it is, number 10 is Christian. I don't know, you can't see it. I don't have anybody else here to film this, but it's Christian, number 10. All right, let's see what we got here. Bledsoe, number nine. Old Jason, Yasin, number eight. Ian, number seven. Paula, number six. Jason, Ice Station Zebra, Eddins, number five. Alex, number four. Blake, number three. Joe, number two. Which leaves me number one. Now, congratulations to everybody on these picks. But here's the thing, those are just the picks for part one. Take a journey with me into a new idea, a new way of doing things. A 2018 first two-part draft pick special. What? So as much as I'm sure everyone's dying to know, last year I had this idea for a fun, entertaining way where everything would be totally random for the picks and I wouldn't really have to even be a part of it. All I had to do was do a little this, a little that, and all of a sudden the whole thing would be done for us. Unfortunately, on the night of us shooting that video last year, I just couldn't come up with the necessary materials. This year, I did. What we're gonna do is all those picks, and I hope you remember yours, 10, nine, all the way through one, those are not your actual draft picks. What you all picked were different entries into a fucking Royal Rumble wrestling match. So for all you dorks out there that were yelling at the top of your lungs when you watched this video, this shit's fixed, Josh is number one pick, bullshit, bullshit. Let me explain a few things to you. 
First of all, getting the number one pick in the first round of this is actually horrible because you are the first person to go in. So actually the lower pick you get in the first part of this video, that's where you wanna be. I will be putting up a list of names of who is going in at what position. What I will do on here is I'll put a 10 man Royal Rumble wrestling match on. Completely random picks on the wrestlers, completely random picks on when everybody goes in. Whoever comes in at your number is the person that you have to watch and make sure it doesn't get thrown out. Whoever gets tossed out first, that gets the number 10 pick. Whoever gets tossed out second, that gets the number nine pick. And so on and so on and so on, until there's only one man standing, and that, my friends, is the number one pick. I will now turn it over to the lovely PS4 device, and all of our fates will be sealed momentarily. Enjoy, guys, and good luck. All right, everybody, so here we go. We're about to start up the big match that's gonna determine where everybody's draft picks are. I'm gonna go down here, and I'm going to uh, make it so that it's just gonna be 10 computer dudes versus each other. I'm not playing this game at all. Sit back, watch. Remember, me and Joe will be the first two, followed by, you know, everybody else. Make sure you remember your spot. Everybody, welcome to the 2018 JFL Royal Rumble. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 2018 JFL Draft Selection Showcase Spectacular Royal Rumble to the death for draft picks and not to the death. All right. Uh, here we go, guys. Uh, as you remember, Joe and I will be starting first. Uh, you are eliminated by being thrown over the top rope. So whenever your guy gets thrown over, he is eliminated. And uh, depending on who gets thrown out first through whoever's last, that's going to determine everything. I think we've gone over this long enough. If you've still got questions about it, rewatch every single part of this video where I'm describing it and try to figure it out. And now the grand unveiling of who will be representing each person. Here comes me. I draw Oh gosh, that, I mean, that pretty much looks like me. I've been here since day one. Jay Uso, not exactly a front runner to win, but definitely someone that could maybe hang around for a while. Strutting down to the ring, representing last year's champion, the Orthodox Julian Edelmans. You know, he's a dark horse to win this, folks, but I'm really thinking that with the right circumstances and just a little bit of luck, this guy could pull it all off. I mean, who knows? We've seen crazier things. Chris Benoit was the number one entry in the Royal Rumble one year, and then he killed his family. So anything can literally happen here in the good old WWE. He struts around the ring. He's confident. He looks like he's going to take this all the way. This is a number one draft pick like I've never seen before, folks. You can put it on the map. You can mark it. Write it down now. This guy's gonna win. Look at those tattoos. Obviously can endure a tremendous amount of pain with all of that going on. And now, let's find out who is Joe. Oh, it looks like Joe wearing that tank top. It's Dean Ambrose representing Joe Valley. As he walks down to the ring, he looks all mad because I beat the shit out of him in the playoffs last year and multiple other times before that. But here he comes, guys. He's a dirty street rat and he's gonna take charge of this whole situation. He's pissed off. Look at him flailing around the ring like that. Oh my god, he's just good enough to toss my lame ass dude out in about two seconds. But we'll see what happens. Staring me down, giving me that Joe look, because he just can't stand how much he wants to be me. It's pretty representative of the two of us. This guy has no tattoos. I have a bunch of tattoos. Joe's pretty much always in some dirty ass gear. Shit stain on the back of his jeans. Is that what I just saw? Jeez Louise. All right, well, we begin the match. Joe takes the upper hand here. He's twerking on that right arm. He wants to twerk all over everybody. But right now, focusing on the shoulder and the neck. Oh, my God. 
slam me onto the ground. Luckily, here comes another entrant. In the mere seven seconds, we are going to see who Blake has drawn to represent him throughout the fight of his life as I get kicked in the face. And here comes Blake, and he's some dude named Gnome Dar. I bet this guy's a real big monster of a man. Oh, God, look at this dude. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be Jason? Slash Yasin. Okay, well here we go. Joe grabs Yasin, or Joe grabs Blake. He's punching him in the corner. I'm crawling around, getting my energy back, playing possum on these dummies. Look, you guys do all the work. I'll just wait around and toss your ass out. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Into the ropes. Joe with a big flying shoulder into my face. But he's now going after Blake. Silly move here. I would have tried to take the next guy up. Here comes Alex. He's running down to the ring. Who is he? Oh, this is Gronk's boy, Mojo Raleigh. Now Alex has to draft Gronk. All right. Got some pretty cool shorts. I bet that's the type of shit Alex wears up in uh, Colorado while he's randomly wandering around the mountains. And he picks up Joe. He's got him over his shoulders. He spins him around. Spin a Rooney helicopter style. And down he goes, and oh my god, there I go. I get the number 10 pick. What the fuck? <sighs> well, cool. <laughs> have to figure this out now. All right, well. Uh, who's that? Blake eliminated me. <sighs> like I eliminated him last year in the championship game. And there goes Mojo Raleigh. Alex draws the number 9 pick. They're flying fast and furious, folks. And here comes number uh, 5, and it's Jason Eddins drawing gold dust. This guy might have what it takes to win. Look at all that face paint. All right. Oh, he trips him, knocks him down. He grabs the leg, and he kicks him in the dick. Joe, Jason, and uh, Blake still in the match. Can you believe it, folks? And we're three seconds away from a new person. Joe's on the outside. He's on the brink. He might be getting tossed out. Oh, my God. And look who it is. It's the little tiny Brian Kendrick. And he's coming to represent Paula and take her all the way to the JFL Championship. Taking his sweet time getting to the ring, though. I'll tell you, there it is. Paula. Come on, lady. Hurry up. All right. And immediately Joe grabs him and smashes his face into the mat. What a move, folks. What a move. All right. Right. Joe punching Paula in the face. Paula can't handle it in those tights. And there goes Paula. No, she stays in. Oh, my God. What an exciting match as Blake takes on, I believe it's Jason over there. All right. Here we go, folks. Seven seconds away from another entrant as we're waiting for Ian to head down to the ring. Joe gets tossed into the turnbuckle, but he smashes Paula in the face with his elbow. Here comes, oh my goodness, Ian. This guy actually kind of looks like Ian. Rusev in here to fuck shit up. And oh, Joe gets out of it and he's gonna swing neck breaker of the century. Uh oh, here goes Jason. He's trying to eliminate Blake over in the corner while Paula just sits there and waves her arms, always talking shit. And we're 10 seconds away from a new entrant. And there goes Ian. Oh my God, do you believe it, folks? Things are going out of control right now. As we wait, Yasin, he's now coming in as Aiden English. This dude sings a lot, so we'll see how this turns out. Here we go. Jason entering the ring. Right now, it's Joe, uh, Paula, Yasin, pumping his fist in the air. Jason and Blake still in this match as the number three entry. He's really fighting for it, folks. What do we got? We got one more after this. The final entrant coming to the ring, and everything is on the line right now. Five men in this match, about to be six. Who's going to take home that number one pick? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here it is. And now, here it is. Christian coming in as Dolph Ziggler, a guy that I think this is about how everybody in this league thinks looks. And he hits the ring, and that ponytail is looking very Christian right now. All right, here's Paula on the outside. She's moments away from being eliminated. Can she hold on? Can she hold on? She grabs the ropes, and she's back in the match. Uh, let's see. Christian just got kicked by Blake. Joe just got punched by Paula. Uh, Jason and... Uh, I think Alex fighting. I'm not sure. At this point, I've completely lost control. Hold on. Somebody got missed here. <laughs> now I don't know what's going on. Oh, boy. Well, my whole life's been a lie, and I'm going to have to redo this. Oh, God.
Well, we'll figure these out. <laughs> we'll figure these out in post. I apologize to those. I mean, we still have four eliminations. Um, hold on. So this should be. Okay, so the last person who I thought was Christian was the dude with the ponytail. That was actually Bledsoe. Now Christian's in there. And Christian is Finn Balor, who's a very tough dude. And Bledsoe just got eliminated. What the hell? We still got all these other people in there. Jason's in there. Joe's in there. Christian's in there. Paul is still in there. Blake's still in there all the way from the third pick with that little ass dude. Can you believe it? And I got tossed out. What the hell? All right. So and there goes another one. So we're down to our last five. Blake has been eliminated, which I believe leads uh, leaves us now with Paula beating the shit out of Jason. Jason catches Paula and delivers a belly to belly suplex. As uh, I can't remember who that is, is uh, <laughs> I think that's Yasin. Yes, Yasin in the black pants. Christian power bombing Jason Paula. Oh my god, Jason grabs Paula and throws her in the turnbuckle and hits her in the back of the head while Joe is still in the match and he's just laying down, holding on, trying to stay in this match. We're down to our final five, guys. Can you believe it? What a match. What a time to be alive. Jason going after Joe now. Smart move. He's the oldest one. And there goes Paula, eliminated by Christian. Oh my god. All right. Here we go. Joe. Here it is, everybody. Your final four. We have... Joe, Jason, Yasin, and Christian still left in this match. Let's get it going. And Joe slams Jason into the mat. All right, everybody. Jason has got Christian on the ropes. He's got a chance to eliminate him. Christian fighting back. Christian punches Jason in the face. Everybody's just standing there. Who's going to make a move? Christian kicks gold, er, uh, Jason in the face. Joe, now he's got Jason. He's going for the power bomb. He picks him up and, oh, he slams him into the mat. There goes uh, Yasin. He's got Christian in the corner. He's attacking him. And there goes Christian. Christian's out of here. It's down to Yasin, Joe, and Jason for the number one pick. And there goes Jason. It's down to Joe and Yasin. Can you believe it? Joe started at number two. And he's still here trying to knock Yasin off the ring. Yasin hanging on with everything he's got. And there it is. Joe has your number one pick. And Yasin has the number two. Do you believe it, folks? Can you believe it? History has been made here. Well, there you have it, folks. An intense, exciting night some things went the way some people wanted and some things didn't quite go the way other people's wanted including myself but who cares it all comes down to what happens on august 26th at six or seven whatever works best for everybody else we will see you all there we have our picks determined i will be throwing up a uh list of who got what picks after this because i'm sure nobody really paid attention except to at the end and when i got eliminated first all right see you guys later you fucking jerks i love you all